Ooh, fast operator, traveling at speed, far too fast for his environment. Hi, my name is Dave Race, I work at ASAFE. I am the current health and safety coordinator. I am uh, also a fork truck uh, instructor, RTITB accredited. So I'm just looking through some footage of fork truck accidents, thankfully not at ASAFE, to see how these instances and accidents could be prevented. Ooh, fast operator, traveling at speed, far too fast for his environment. It's just user error. That truck is probably traveling at, well, that were quick, up to 10 miles an hour. That truck alone will weigh five ton and you've got a sword on the front and that steel gird is only gonna be probably at best 10 mil thick. When it gets up to the, the backrest of the fork truck, we've got the impact. Yeah, the operator's thrown from the vehicle, a good barrier system and a good column protector would definitely prevent that from happening. Okay, so before I play the video, we've got two fork trucks operating in a congested warehouse. No real walkways, pedestrian areas, separation or segregation. Operator traveling backwards, person walking through. Looks like he's got handheld terminal or paperwork in his hand. <sighs> Narrowly hit by forklift reversing. So we've got real instance of operator and fork truck um, coming together in a, in a busy built up warehouse. No pedestrian walkways, no um, separation of, from bollards or, or any safety measure. I would definitely look at putting some walkways in there, barriered walkways. Yeah, so I've, I've seen this before, this is all over social media. Operator obviously looks incredibly tired, fatigued at the wheel, traveling down, picking aisle, pedestrians walking around, impacts on the, an upright of the beam and it's a, just a stack of dominoes coming down. We've got hundreds and thousands of tons worth of material coming down and they don't stop until it all uh, cascades, unfortunately. Operator very lucky to wake up at the point of impact and run away shocking. Incidents like this shouldn't happen in the first instance, but our products like Rack Guard um, could definitely highlight any minor impact that could cause racking failure, racking fatigue and overall collapse. <laughs> 